All right, guys, so here we are in West Sacramento, California, um, and we're joined by Oleg Muskayev. You all happen to know exactly who he is, and uh, as to my recent article, uh, he is planning a comeback. Now, a lot of you might be asking why, uh, since his last fight against Aguilera did not turn out to be the way most of us thought it would. Well, today you're gonna, he's going to answer your questions, uh, and of course, try to give us an explanation as to what happened, why whatever happened, happened. Question number one is, of course, um, a lot of people want to know what inspired your comeback? Why are you coming back? A lot of people think that it may be financial, only financial. Other people think that it may have to do with the fact that uh, no champion wants to leave the sport with a loss. And some seem to think that maybe you really do have that spirit back and you want another shot at the title. Um, I can say one thing, uh, the reason is why. Uh, first of all, because I'm a fighter and I, uh, I missed boxing and I want to come back. And then because of my last loss, I'm not happy with my last loss. It's a little bit bothering me. I don't want to end up my career with that loss. So. That's the reason why I want to come back. And of, not, of course, you know, in money as well. You know, I want to have a job and may still make money. Okay. Uh, w so now that you've mentioned uh, your last fight, Aguilera, wha what happened in that fight? I, I've seen enough fights to where I could judge. You did not look like mess, you know, most people expected you to look. Um, the fight ended early, you got knocked out. What happened and why did it happen? Uh, I was I was ready for that fight, you know, and I trained very really hard for that fight. And you know, I had like a few uh, great uh, uh, sparring partners in my camp, and you know, I handled them very well, no problem. They were ready to run away. I was I was looking great. And what happened in that fight? I remember that day, you know, through my dressing room, probably because it was in West Sacramento, you know, it was my hometown right now and what happened was uh, through my dressing room uh, went a lot of friends you know walking a lot of friends and people just shake my hands and that was my mistake I shouldn't do that just lost my focus you know and I I believe that if that fight would be just you know pass one round you know then I would do my job no problem but he caught me. He caught me and finished me. Well, so what I can say is it's upset fight and and I know that, you know, I'm gonna do everything to fix that mistake. What about physically on that day? Were you physically prepared? So what you're saying is it was strictly a mental a mental mistake that you made. A mistake that you that, that made was the, the yeah, that was the mental mistake. Yeah. Okay. But physically I was in uh, not a hundred percent, but I was ninety percent in good shape. Okay. For that fight. All right. Uh, what about just over time? I mean, we haven't seen you for a while. Has your love of boxing as a sport diminished or grown? You've been in boxing for a long time, and usually the younger people, you know, the younger champions, when you just begin boxing, uh, you have that fire, that need um, to 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 go in there. You're hungry for the title. What about now? What are you feeling now? I feel now that I'm still strong, healthy. That's the number one priority for me. And then, uh, because I have a great experience. And uh, I still, you know, can fight. I know that for sure. Okay, and w since, since, you know, tell us what has changed in you. So you took a little break. What did you do during your break? Um, did you work, relax, I family? What? I didn't finish, you know, uh, I didn't stop uh, training, you know. So you never stopped yeah, training? Yeah, I never stopped training. That's the that's, uh, uh, number one rule I have. I ran, do my road work, you know, do some, you know, uh, if I go fishing or hunting, that's a, fix if, uh, that's a great physical exercise as well. Mm -hmm. Always busy, do something. Mm -hmm. Well, um, tell us a little bit about Team Muskayev, who are the people you're with now, um, whoever you want to mention, 
Who's helping you get back on the road? I still uh, have the uh, same team. Uh, Dennis Rappaport, my promoter, and uh, uh, Fred Cash uh, is my manager. I know, I'm very happy with my team, but uh, I lost my trainer, you know, because he, we just, you know, people make, people make mistakes, so. But the thing is that uh, I'm looking forward, this is my life, and hopefully we're gonna get uh, uh, a right, the right person, the right trainer for me, who's, who's gonna uh, look at me and say, oh, Oleg, you know, he still have something to pull. Okay. And this is kind of following some previous questions. Why did you end up taking a break from boxing? So you you know you suffered a, a knockout loss, and then you kind of disappeared. Um, why? What happened? I don't know. It didn't happen because of, uh, um, first of all because of that loss. Uh, I need a, a mental break, you know and physical recovery as well and uh, that's about it and now I feel that I'm hungry I want to fight I'm not just want to fight I just want to I just want to step in the ring and show the people that Oleg is hungry he wants to fight and he wants to show them that I'm a still a fighter and just uh, fix that problem that I have last time, in the last fight. You have next as your opponent. Do you have a name in mind? As a matter, or uh, let me rephrase that. Is there anybody you'd like to call out? Uh, I don't think it's the right time right now to call somebody out. Uh, what we're gonna do? What I would love to do? That's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna choose my opponent really carefully, and uh, not because of I lost, you know, last time. That was a disappointment you know upset fight I'm just you know in my career I never I never you know uh, look at that my opponent carefully choose my opponent carefully but now I will and uh, because I can't make another mistake and I really love boxing and I really want to come back and uh, I missed it and uh, I think with my team we're gonna choose the right opponent for the first fight, and then maybe a couple fights, and then we'll see, we'll see where we are, and then we're gonna start from there. Maybe we get to see another uh, another fight with Rockman, huh? He's been talking, he's uh, been asking. I mean, I understand for you. <laughs> yeah, maybe. He's, I mean, he, maybe he's willing to fight me again, but uh, uh, I don't see a reason why I right. fight him again. Right. Because you, I beat him twice, you know, you. and that's. And I don't know if I'm gonna step up against him again. Uh, I can do that, no problem. But first of all, I wanna see, uh, I wanna get in good shape. I will get in the training camp with the right people, you know, training team. And uh, because I'm still strong, healthy. I don't, I don't, I don't afraid to work hard, you know. I'm not a lazy guy. And when I'm gonna feel that I'm ready, then I'm gonna fight. Uh, assuming all of that happens for you, at the age of 42, how many more years do you think you have in boxing? I mean, we know boxing is a sport where people in their mid-late 30s are considered to be old for the sport. Uh, what do you think? How many more years do you think you have in you? Let's say things go well for you. At what, is there a point where you'd want to stop? I think you know when you have to stop when you feel uh, tired when you when you physically when you physically can pull a, a good fight you know in the fight if, you, if you're gonna start feeling that you know you're losing your fight because of your physical condition then I think it's the right time to stop. But in my career I never lost a fight that you know somebody was beating me from the left from the left to right mm. that never happened or I'm physically tired in the fight and give up. Nothing like that. Okay. Just a bit. I've been caught a few times, and that's what really happened in my knockouts. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. So some fan questions. Uh, one person asked, "Oh, like, how does it feel to be trailing behind or losing in the fight, possibly, and you are in in need of a of a knockout to win?" 
and all of a sudden that not you know that knockout happens not of one but in two fights i think you know which which fights i'm talking about how does it feel to actually end the fight with a knockout what's i mean what's riding through your head through your mind when it actually happens it means that you lost my right? question is, if i knock somebody out then i can say one thing you know there is a a, a fighter a good fighter always has a killing instinct you know and then when you when you see, uh, when you look uh, in your opponent's eyes, you see that your opponent was ready to give up, and you you find that right moment and knock him out. That's the that's the greatest thing, you know. That's the great feeling, you know. And, you know, you're happy. You finish your job. Your training, your team, everybody's happy. Everybody work, not just for nothing, you know. We did great performance, you know. Everybody's happy. Come back, your fans, you know. You're in the High level. You're in a high. Okay. So that happened twice with uh, Rachman, huh? Yes. You were able to find that one spot, the perfect timing. Yeah. yeah or, because so you know there is such a saying, it's a I, lucky I, punch. But that wasn't lucky punch, was No, it? I've been looking for that punch. I've been looking all, all that fight, you know, for that punch. That's not because of just one lucky punch, you know. But, you know, I hit him many times with a good chance. And then, finally, that was, that was a very tough fight. We were, yeah. we were beating each other, hurting each other, and thank God that, you know, finally that happened. Did you guys ever talk outside of the ring? Did you, are you friends or you don't really communicate with Wachman outside of? No, just, you know, I don't think, yeah, personally, personally, I, I never spoke with him, you know, just uh, outside of the ring or outside of the, uh, uh, you know, always when they have a boxing thing. Yeah, <sighs> boxing thing, you know press conference right uh, no. but uh, my team yes he's a nice guy he's a nice guy I believe that's that's the way he is mm. um, so, and somebody asked how was your training camp for the Samuel Peter fight because there were rumors that the camp was not good this was Terrible. as a matter of fact somebody uh, mentioned uh, probably maybe even you that it was the worst camp that you've had yes uh, that was true. Do you mind telling us what what was going on? Because yeah, it was a very I, highly I, anticipated I, fight. That's yeah, why. I read some um, some uh, stories on the internet, and that's probably from somebody who used to be a part of our team, mm -hmm. not anymore. And they opened their mouths and say a lot of things, but uh, you know. First of all, uh, I mentally was tired because of all the injuries. I had a tough, a tough operation, very tough operation on, on my right elbow. Uh, you know, the doctor told me that it's going to take uh, not just uh, one year for the full recovery. It's going to take about two years. And I believe I, you know, they the scheduled uh, uh, my... Uh, the fight against uh, Samuel Peter at the after I believe that uh, just didn't pass a year, probably eight seven months, and my my the elbow the elbow still was messed up. But I closed my eyes, you know, because of what what happened was WBC uh, was ready to to take in, to, to take the belt away from me. Right. That in, and Samuel Peter he fought against McLean for interim champion. That's his. It's basically they took in the belt from from you, right? That's what I felt. That was a mental. I mentally was hurt, you know, in that moment. And then uh, when we schedule, uh, we postponed the fight because of the injury. And then again, uh, probably in a, in a few months, we schedule mm -hmm. again a fight in uh, Cancun. And then uh, the. Uh, Everything was terrible. The training, maybe I was mentally, you know, didn't do the right thing, made a lot of mistakes. The training didn't go the right way. And, uh, uh, and then another thing, you know, uh, right before the fight, a day before the fight, I hurt the elbow. It was swelled up like this. And my doctor uh, gave me a back of eyes. Uh, I put eyes on my elbow. But... Uh, I said, okay, I'm fine, but 
Unfortunately, mentally, I wasn't fine. So that's what happened. Right? Everybody uh, is no, no, the results. Right. Um, let's go back a little bit and just ask for uh, you know your personal opinions on what's going. On. First of all, who are your boxing influences? Who did you watch box when you were younger and getting into boxing? Mike Tyson, Holyfield, Lennox Lewis, Muhammad Ali, Joe Lewis. The, the classics. Yeah, the classics. Yeah. Year? And my favorite was fight. Your favorite memory. I mean, remember it was the happiest part of your career. Maybe a signing of the first fight, or the knock, you know, Rahman's knockout, or what is it? You must remember. I think uh, uh, there was a great fight in Moscow when I uh, was young and I, my first fight against a, a tough opponent it was Alex Stewart. Mm -hmm. he, he was a champion and Mike Tyson, my Tyson, Tyson beat him and stopped him and took the belt away from him. And then in, uh, if, in some years I fought him in Moscow and he still was great, good and tough, but I beat him and knocked him out in front of uh, 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 Russian fans. That was the great moment. And then, it, of course, uh, two fights against uh, Rahman. Right. Um, That's a good memory. A lot of people are curious. Now, I, I hear this question a lot. Whenever I interview somebody, especially a little, uh, especially a heavyweight, but we have two, two, two dominant heavyweight champions right now. You know who they are. Um, Listen, I'm guessing. You're guessing, okay. So, what is your personal opinion? I've, you know, a lot of people label them as unbeatable because their size, their reach, they have been very... I can say the same thing, because of the physical condition, yeah? They have a good speed, good training, discipline, uh, tall, good reach, good boxing experience, good team. You know, everything in the, in the right place. Everybody has been talking about and saying that he does not have a good chin. He's a very good offensive fighter. He is not that good defensive fighter, even though he doesn't get hit much, but he, he tends to uh, kind of walk away from a fight when it comes to him. What do you think? I mean, you, you've been in a lot of battles. Um, you were always ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe and mix it up in the middle of the ring. Fighting somebody like that, what would be your strategy? What would you do in a fight like that? Yeah, he's a bigger, taller guy, but knowing that all you have to do is get to him, chase not him. just chase him down. Chase him down and, and put a good pressure and just move your head, you know, and fight from the angles, you know. That's the best way. Just do not... Uh, do not stay in front of him, you know, because he has a good reach. He's going to beat you from the distance, you know. You have to do everything, just do not stay in front of him. You have to risk to take a punch and... Yeah, and also you must have a good legs, you know. On the feet, you have to be the best. Fans, and it is, why should boxing fans tune in and watch your next fight? Give them a reason in there. Because they love boxing. First of all, uh, I have a great fans, you know, I love them, you know, my fans, you know, and take them, you know, for their support, first of all. And then, uh, like I said before, I'm a fighter, and I'm not happy with my last performance, you know, and uh, I really want to fix it, you know, and just end up my career the right way. This is the, not the right way. And just what I'm going to do, whatever I have mentally, I'm uh, strong right now. I take a, a good break and physically I'm okay. I'm not going to be better with the right training. With, with the, um, hopefully my team, they're going to get me a good trainer who's going to believe in me and uh, put me uh, in the right road. The one thing, you know, if I know I'm going to do everything to get in that shape when I fought against Rahman, mentally and physically prepare as was prepared then. And then, you know, believe me, if, I wanna, if, if somebody will meet me in that condition, 
when he was against, fought against Rahman. Old will be a very dangerous fighter.